Hey, what's up, YouTube? We're gonna watch the return of YouTube's most hated creep because I guess EDP is coming back yet again. This is my first day back from a 16 day break, which is kind of crazy, my biggest break ever. So hello, hello, hello. I am trying to just jump right back into it. I'm gonna be doing a bit more of a mix of like technical, like specific reaction content and more, uh, I really wanna focus more on like straight up commentary, but I love reacting. So I'm gonna do some reactions anyway. I just can't get away from it. It's like my favorite thing join us on twitch if you ever have time at twitch.tv forward slash hex underscore juice we stream at approximately noon daily and um subscribe if you like the content because we are getting toward our 50k goal i'd really like to get it by the end of the year i kind of kneecapped myself given the fact that i took 16 days off but i'd love to get 50k anyway so subscribe let's get into it ha huh? subscribe <laughs> What happens after a once beloved creator is outed as a predator and terminated off the platform? Do they accept their fate and leave the internet for good? Or do they try and revive a dead career by any means necessary? This is my 9 millionth attempt at trying to create a mother YouTube channel. We'll see how long this lasts. Probably won't last long at all. Despite losing his entire the thing is, is that YouTube is very clear that once you get banned, you are not going to be able to make another account. With YouTube, in order to get monetization, via YouTube, you have to put in literally all of your personal information. They also have the most annoying, time-consuming, um, overly specific process in order to get your payments approved through uh, Google AdSense. Like, they require you to do two-factor authentication via the United States Postal Service. It is so complicated. And so, like, I don't know why you would pretend that you can get your YouTube channel back. Because the second you actually apply for your AdSense, they're going to know it's you and they're going to ban you if they don't figure it out before then. But I will say it is always so interesting how people who are like deplatformed will uh, never truly go away. They will always be around in some way, in some form, and they will always be trying to get what they had back. And it's like so sad, like just get a job at a certain point, man. Audience and actively being hunted on the internet, EDP445 is still trying to make a comeback on YouTube. Unfortunately for him, it seems to be doing more harm than good. Hi, I'm the Internet Anarchist. I create weekly YouTube documentary. Oh, he can't get a job. I don't know, maybe don't go looking for cupcakes then. <laughs> I don't know, man. Maybe don't go and try and get you some cupcakes. Whatever. Like, I'm sorry. I just don't really feel all that bad. I guess this is your only option, but damn. And today, we'll be exploring the deplorable downfall and return of YouTube's most infamous cupcake lover and predator, EDP445. As strange as it sounds, there was once a time on the internet when everyone didn't hate EDP. Back in the late 2000s- You know what I'm realizing is I have no idea what content he ever did. I have quite literally only ever known EDP as the cupcake guy. I don't think I've ever, ever, ever heard of him in any other context. I don't know what he did before. 2010s, the YouTube community looked up to him as an entertaining creator who said whatever he wanted, whenever he wanted. I'm not going to let a- And did whatever he wanted, whenever he wanted, I think. Franchise, a corporation, or a place of business define who I am. Walmart fired me, and guess what? I couldn't be any more happier. However, his brash attitude didn't come without consequences, as his channel was- I don't know a lot about sports ball, okay? I don't care about football. I was a swimmer as a kid, and, like, I don't care. Why is it that Eagles fans are always terrible people? It's just, like, a personal observation based off of absolutely not clinical data. What is it about the Philadelphia Eagles that just collects wretched, putrid human beings? Gen question. Suspended in July 2017 and October 2018 due to mass reports from viewers. The negativity was so bad that YouTube refused to award him his 1 million subscriber play button no, in 2020. No. YouTube is on that little once again, they will not send me my gold play button because mm -hmm. according to them, my channel doesn't match the criteria. Even though YouTube thought EDP didn't deserve a play button. Didn't match the criteria, how? That's interesting. I want to know what they said specific, like match which criteria, what criteria is active, has uploads in the last six months. You don't have an active community guidelines violation. You're in compliance with TOS. You haven't been rejected or suspended from the partner program. It isn't terminated or linked to an account that has been terminated. You don't have content that is deceptive, spammy, or a scam. And your main content is original. 
So did he have a community guidelines violation? I, I imagine it must be something like that. I'm just curious. I didn't know that they could like reject you from something like that. His fans felt differently and took it upon themselves to make him one. Oh, that's kind of cute. Wow. So here it is. Um, see the titanium. Hot what the fuck is the name? Okay. So first of all, that's kind of cute of the fans. Like EDP or whatever. That's like cute. Is that what EDP stands for? Is that what it stands for genuinely? Okay, I did not know that. <laughs> they use his full government name on that. Damn. All the okay. graphics, it's like, it's like a 3D, like how it has like different colors up in the actual, you know, silver part of it. You know what I mean? Dis Surpass Congrats on surpassing a million subs. Kept it real on these since day one and kept it real on the cupcakes as well. Despite being somewhat of a divisive figure, ADP had the respect and support of the YouTube community. But sadly, all that was about to change, as ADP faced several allegations of inappropriate interactions with minors later that year. Stole a bra out the laundry mat and I sniffed it and beat off to that mother, okay? To presenting his sick porn addiction over the years while showcasing how much of a f***ing woman-hating lonely incel he is by texting several minors calling them cute, beautiful and your babe even after knowing their age the main set of allegations came ew <laughs> you stole yeah he said he stole a bra from a laundromat and sniffed it and jerked off to it wow i don't know what to say ew <laughs> ew that's so yeah it's so something yeah Came from a creator named Cold Raven, who claimed ADP was using his Instagram account to message and collect pictures of minors. Not long after these accusations were made public, ADP would respond to Cold Raven in his typical crude tone. ADP admits that he's a p out live on live stream. What the f are you trying to prove, bruh? Tour 15, 16, and 17, and dressing like little skimpy ass f trying to set up, trying to message me and and then when I respond back, all of a sudden I'm the piece of shit. Nah, mother, you're the piece of shit. And something's wrong. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Ew, ew, ew. You know what the, uh, the energy it gives? You know when somebody is like, oh, I don't like TikTok. All I ever get on my TikTok feed is little girls dancing in skimpy outfits. It's disgusting. Blah, blah, blah. I only ever get girls in bikinis, little girls. And it's like, Hey, big dog, you know that there's like, it's an algorithm. It's a for you page for you based on your algorithm, based on like the things you interact with and watch. I don't get the skimpy girls in bikinis. There's a reason for that, that you do and I don't. There's a reason. There's a reason you get those. It's weird. You're weird for that. You're really weird for that. With you. While ADP was able to walk away from the incident with his platform, it showed he had a pattern of responding to PDF allegations by claiming the people exposing him were at fault, something uh -huh. that would become extremely apparent in the coming months. Mm -hmm. By the 18th of April 2021, YouTube channel Predator Poachers, ran by Alex Rosen, caught ADP attempting to meet a supposed 13-year-old girl he'd been messaging on Instagram months prior. Again, so what brings you out here today? Um, well, I was uh, coming out here to... Glasses off. Okay. Go ahead. Well, I was actually coming out here to pick up a cupcake. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, yeah, no. Um, I really think I want to look more into these, like, Predator Hunter accounts. I feel like I have mixed feelings on it, but I want to know more before I talk about it. I don't know how I feel about the concept of hunting predators for content reasons. And I think that there is possibly a way that is actually a net positive for the world. I don't know that that is the way in which you prevent people from actually getting convicted of things. I think that you could probably do it in a way that helps people and gets nasty, disgusting human beings off the street. But like if what you're doing prevents people from actually getting consequences for the things they do, that really is like not OK to me. Then go back home. Um, there was, you know, nothing that was one of the involved because I'm not like that. You know, well, obviously the text messages and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Um, what so yeah, fuck? that was. All that was going to happen. News of ADP's cupcake outing would spread across the internet like wildfire and prompt YouTube to terminate all of ADP's channels, which had over 2 million subscribers collectively. Despite being caught red handed, ADP would still try to make Alex and the Predator Poacher team look like the bad guys using him for clout. Ted Goldstein. 
or should I call you Alex Rosen? I've been making videos for coming up on 11 years now. I've seen mm -hmm. punk ass, made ho ass like yourself come and go. Go from 10,000 subscribers and then automatically jump up to 108K because they're over here, you know, piggybacking, you know, off of the success of other YouTubers. Throughout the ordeal, yeah, if you're trying to defend the fact that you were going to meet a 13-year-old girl and you bring up somebody's sub numbers and call them clout chasers, like, <laughs> I just don't know that you're really in the right if that's the only, like, <laughs> I just don't know if you could say you're in the right if, like, that is your, like, primary, like, your first response is like, oh, but you're, like, you're a clout chaser. Okay, but, like, you was not there getting cupcakes, girl. What do you mean? ADP was unwilling to show any remorse for his actions and tried to pin the blame on someone else. As a result, the internet showed him no mercy and did everything in its power to ensure he'd never have an online career again. In the yeah. following months, ADP's Facebook and Instagram accounts would be taken down, forcing him to move to more obscure platforms like 3Speak, with the post reading, What the f*** is 3Speak? 3Speak TV is where you can find me. Glad to be back making content for y'all. ADP wouldn't be back for very long, as his page on 3Speak would later be taken down. Around this time, ADP tried to launch a personal website, ADP445.com, but it would never make it off the ground. Going after his online prospects wasn't enough for former fans, as soon they went after his personal life. They got him fired from various ride sharing apps. They posted about him working at McDonald's. Recently known E D P. This man's known for being an eagle. Uh, okay, all right. So yeah, he probably can't get a job if that's the case. Holy Jesus! Man, working at the clown, the frown, the Mickey D's. They even revealed the address of his CVS store security job. Reach a level on YouTube where people, you know, recognize you and they're giving you money and you're making really. Good it was clear the trolls were doing everything in their power to make ADP's life a living hell. However, his next move would only add more fuel to the fire. On the 25th of March 2023, ADP attempted to rewrite the events surrounding his fall from grace, I with a post this. titled, The Events That Led Up To My Setup. During the post he wrote, I want to go into specific detail about the events that led up to my setup because I don't feel like it was entirely clear in the video I released. ADP went on to claim that i.e. I took a couple years to figure out the best possible lie for this. <laughs> and I'm coming back to try to re-explain it because I didn't feel like I lied good enough the first time. That Alex Rosen had initially presented him with a filming opportunity, but didn't specify what the role was about. Reading, he told me that he had a film opportunity and wanted to know if I was interested. The email didn't address what type of film it was or the type of role it would be potentially acting out if I was selected. Mm -hmm. I deleted all of my emails, and unfortunately, this is one of the emails I was unable to retrieve and forward to my attorney. Following this, ADP claimed that Alex had set a date and time to meet up for his audition, and that it would not be going off a script, but an improvised act. Act. Reading, Chet, who is Alex, responded and confirmed that the location was correct. He also provided a date and time and informed me that they would have me act out slash improv a random scene to determine if I was fit for the part. I was confident. Mm hmm The getting cupcakes, but really being a PDF file scene. Mm hmm Yeah. <laughs> yes, indeed. I understand. Yes, the, uh, the scene in which you're supposed to blabber about cupcakes. Uh, like, what the? What do you mean? What do you mean? And that this was a legit film opportunity. To add some credibility to his claims, ADP stated that there was a witness that day who saw the entire incident and even asked them to come forward with their story. Reading, I know that there is an eyewitness out there that drove by the right aid and filmed me and Javier having our conversation when we first Not met here. up. If that person can come forward and present this important footage with a timestamp of 1.45 on April 18th, 2021, it can help me solidify the evidence that I've presented so far. To some Summarize, EDP wanted people to believe that he wasn't there that day to get a cupcake, but instead was doing an improv act at Alex Rosen's request while bystanders were filming. It was a strange But Alex Rosen was somebody that people knew was like a predator hunter and not a filmmaker question mark. He was not in any like situation like a filmmaker. He was like that was his thing that he was somebody who made content around catching predators on the internet. Okay, correct? Okay, so this makes no 
nonsense. Hell to say the least. However, no one was willing to give him the benefit of the doubt, as commenters pointed out various issues with his side of the story and the evidence presented. Reading, you can clearly see that screenshot of the email is fake and photoshopped. You need to stop lying because nobody believes in you and seek professional help. As well as, you can't retrofit multiple allegations paired to you being caught in the sting. Your arguments may be more substantiated if this was an isolated incident, but it was not. That's the biggest hindrance. Accept and move on. Better yourself. And maybe your life will be on a different trajectory. But it's not, because you can't do that. If lying to people wouldn't restore his career, then EDP tried to take a different route. Apologizing. By the seven I don't think you can apologize for something that you didn't do. You know what I mean? Like, how do you apologize for something that was like a setup and wasn't real? Like, it was, I was literally just getting cupcakes, but I'm I, like, what? I'm sorry I went to go get cupcakes that day. It was like the bad, the worst possible day to, to get cup. Like, what, what is the, like, what are you saying? What are you doing? 7th of July, 2023, ADP would post his first apology video, which started with him trying to emotionally appeal viewers. First and foremost, I want to say thank you so much to my loving, supporting, caring friends and family. Um, without you guys, to be honest with you, I probably would have been committed suicide. I've had a few close calls, you know what I mean? And yeah, when somebody starts their apology with talking about their mental health, that's always very much in good faith. Mm -hmm. I know this. I know this. I know this. Yeah, mental health is very serious. I have a lot of empathy for those who genuinely struggle with their mental health and suicidal ideation. When you're starting your apology off that way, it is almost always in bad faith. You're pulling a card, which is manipulative. That's why people don't like it. And um, each and every single time you guys have uh, gave me gave me the biggest, most heartwarming hug. ADP continued this by doing the right thing and taking responsibility for his deplorable behavior. I don't want to come on here, cry, boo-hoo, beg for people's forgiveness. You know what I mean? Um, the only thing that I'm trying to go for in the distant future is redemption. You know what I mean? The only thing that I'm trying to go for is to restore honor and to restore um, a positive outlook on my name. I want people to stop thinking that I'm a PDF file because I was trying to do PDF file. I don't really care to like apologize or make you feel like I was sorry. I just want you to not think of me that way anymore so that I can be on the internet and not be harassed. I'm not trying to beg for forgiveness, but I'm begging for redemption. Well, it's very like, I'm not sorry that I did it. I'm sorry that you're mad about it. I'm sorry that I got caught doing it. You know what I mean? It's very that. In addition to this, ADP claimed he'd be seeking professional help. Like I mentioned before, man, I'm seeking the proper help that I need to seek out, um, doing whatever I can to make sure that this does not happen again. While ADP's apology had a hint of remorse, he failed to directly address his crimes and refused to apologize to his victims. Details that the rest of the internet would pick up on. And I don't even think this apology is genuine. This feels once again like another plan of his to try and crawl back online yep. because he has done it so many times before but he can't even address the actual issue itself. And like, not only the cupcake incident, he doesn't even mention the other victims outside of that either. On one side. I can't stand an apology where they don't actually say what they did. I'm sorry, for what? Or are you just saying sorry because you don't want people to be mad at you anymore? You know, like, what did you do to you are apologizing for? Because part of an apology is accountability. I can't stand that. Outline specifically what you think you did wrong. Some viewers wanted to believe EDP was ready to turn a new leaf and stop his cupcake chasing ways. On the other, some viewers rightfully assumed EDP was only apologizing to recover his platform and yes. would go back to his old ways given the chance. Yes. Unfortunately for EDP, this assumption would prove to be correct only a few months after his apology. Mm -hmm. On the 9th of October 2023, Jadeon and Skeeter Jean would conduct a second sting operation on EDP. The only difference this time was that EDP was messaging an actual fitball to go and was trying to meet her at his dialysis appointment. Many of At his dialysis appointment? <laughs> oh, all right. Okay. Age of the individual aside, trying to get at your dialysis appointment is insane. Dialysis. I'll read out a definition for dialysis. Dialysis is a treatment that removes waste products and excess fluid from the blood where the kidneys are lo no longer functioning properly. So it's something that that's flying to the sun. Ah, okay, okay. 
it's something that people who have kidney failure will go through uh, to essentially um, filter their blood because their kidneys can't do it anymore. Um, <laughs> it's uh, it's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy to try to be getting regardless at your di at the dialysis appointment. But then it's also like the girl's age was insane. So just wanted to point out, like that's crazy, dude. If you might know. Uh, a fellow that goes by the name EDP-445, a.k.a. Bryant Moreland is his, his legal name. It seems that in the last couple months, he's been talking to an actual, factual Oregon East Fifth girl. When Jadeon and Skater Jean finally got to confront EDP about his disgusting behavior, he refused to acknowledge it and claimed it was illegal for them to film him. Well, Brian, I am with the Predatorial Investigation Unit. I'm just seldom at a loss for words. You know, two years ago, you were oh, caught... Oh, he did not go up to him with a cupcake costume! Stop! I did not know about this one. I knew about the first one, obviously. I they did not walk up to him in a cupcake costume. That's crazy oh my god that's crazy oh, by the way, it's a he had shorts that movie. said raw dog it on you're seldom at a loss for words you Look know two years shorts. ago you were... <laughs> oh god that's so funny i'm so sorry within minutes of being caught in the act edp would lash out at his victim and say this he's texting me right now so what is he saying he's he told me that's what he said. We got him. And but I'm already here. I filed the report. Looking at ADP now. You better stop. <laughs> you better stop. Now, it was obvious that he didn't care about redemption or getting help. All EDP cared about was restoring his long dead internet career. Thankfully, the internet wouldn't let him do that, but that didn't stop him from trying. By the 1st of August 2024, EDP uploaded a video titled, Here We Go. To oh my god, the username is killing me. I want to say, I'm not joking because it's like me trying to like not acknowledge how serious that and disgusting it is. I want to say that like, I think that it's obviously super serious and disgusting and horrible. And obviously this is incredibly like serious and this person is like a dangerous person. But it's kind of like, if you don't laugh, you cry. And I, I tend to just make a joke out of something <laughs> and laugh at it and um, <laughs> fully engage with the conversation. Um, I'm a big humor for copium thing person. Like I, I will, I, I choose humor to cope rather than uh, not being funny about it. So I want to say you ever like, wow, Hex is like really laughing at this. It's not because I'm not taking it seriously. It's just like, what are you supposed to do when someone is so absurdly, abominably disgusting other than like laugh at it? Because I could get angry and be like, dude, this guy needs to be put in jail, which he does. He needs like, you know, like I could go into all of that. Shit. I could be angry. Or it's just like, dude, I can't believe someone like this exists it is just so publicly horrible on the internet a channel he created the year before in the video he expressed concern about the possibility of the channel being deleted all right y'all so this is my nine million attempt at trying to create a mother channel um we'll see how long this lasts probably won't last long at all to be honest with yeah, you well. um to mitigate the inevitable backlash, EDP would disable the dislike button, as well as delete as many negative comments as possible, but uh -huh. he couldn't delete them all. With comments reading, How many times have we got to teach you a lesson, old man? <laughs> Collab with Ava Chris Tyson and Dr. Disrespect, as well as, Hide your kids, everyone. Literally, EDP is hungry and looking to flex like he did that one boxer at Walmart. Despite the trolling, EDP would continue to make videos discussing various odd topics, like adult content and conspiracy theories. However, Okay, all right, all this other shit aside, this video is based, you guys can't really see it. It's called White Castle is garbage. And that's true. White Castle sucks. Uh, two particular videos would stand out amongst the rest and give some insight into his current mental state. The first one is his mistakes were made video, which saw EDP defending his predatory behavior by claiming he was in a quote, dark place. There's no reconciling with these There's no getting through to them. There's no, you know, trying to get these people to understand um, where you were at at that point in time in your life. Mm -hmm. You know, addressing what happened a few years ago, the whole incident and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I'll be the first person to tell you, 
I was in a very dark place in my life, a very dark place. Eddie Pay would further defend himself by Yeah, put a one in chat if you've ever been in a really dark place in your life. Two in chat if you've always been, I guess, exuberantly happy. I've been in a dark place before. I, I there was a period of time I was going to like three therapy sessions a week. I was doing I, oh, I was doing four. I was doing three group sessions and a single session, right? I've been in a dark place. I've had a hard time. You know what I never did when I was in a dark place as a human being? I never talked to kids inappropriately or really at all. Any of y'all be in a dark place and suddenly the demons tell you you gotta like go get some cupcakes? Because I've never had that happen before. <laughs> never once. I'll do a little drinking, smoke some weed, do some drugs. Did a lot of different Never once ever did I accidentally or on purpose talk to minors on the internet in any fashion. That's insane. I hate that excuse. I hate that excuse for anything. Oh, well, I have ADHD and that's why I said something racist type. Shit. Like, I hate that. Shit. You can be in a dark place and still be accountable for the shit you did in that dark place. Sorry, it is what it is. Not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. That is how life works. If you're in a dark place and you do something illegal, you still have to go to jail. Stating that people who make such mistakes should seek help and imply that they should be forgiven. Take responsibility for your actions. Take accountability for your actions. Yeah. Understand that there is an issue, right? Understand mm -hmm. that this is not normal. If that's not good enough for people, well then that sounds like a personal issue to me. What's even- Yeah, where did you do any of that? I love the video slash post in which you did that. And more strange is how ADP- As Mudahar says, easier part of my job is waking up and not being attracted to kids. Yeah. <laughs> it's like one of the easiest things. It's like that and like, uh, you know, the streamers that complain about how scared they are of saying the N-word? Yeah, I've never, never feared that. Every day I wake up completely without even the thought that I might say the N-word or talk to children inappropriately on my stream. <laughs> like, it's just so easy. <laughs> assumes apologizing to friends and family means he's showing remorse. Just because I haven't came out and made some big ass crying video, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Um, making a f ass up out of myself all hysterical on camera and like that, that I show no remorse. I have sat down and I have apologized to my family, right? I've apologized did you, to- Wait, but did you, like, were the victims your family? Did you apologize to the children you were weird to? Or like, <laughs> like, what does your family have to do with it? My diehard friends. EDP's logic was obviously warped beyond recognition, but no one expected him to pin the blame on the minors he was messaging. I made a video a long time ago where I talked about obviously adults should be held accountable. They should get in trouble for messaging minors and engaging in those type of conversations in that mm -hmm. particular way, right? Yes. I also feel minors should get in trouble for messaging adults. During his rant, ADP would also get flashbacks. Ah, uh, it was the kid's fault. I see. <laughs> I don't know how to engage with that argument. I like here's the here's the parallel I'm going to make. And this one is maybe a little bit weird. OK, it's kind of like when as an adult, when you say like, hey, to your parents, like, hey, the way you treated me as a kid was sometimes like very much like not OK. Like you did you did some things that were like uh, abusive, manipulative um, that were wrong. And um, I feel sad about the way that you treated me as a kid. And then your parents go, yeah, well, you were a bad kid, so. And it's like, yeah, but like you were like the parents and, and I was the kid, you know? I was the kid and you were the adult and you were the one who was responsible for the situation as the adult. And I was not the one who was responsible in the situation as a child who is not fully developed and does not necessarily have the tools to be developed enough to even handle this. But it's like very much like a similar argumentation to that. Because the thing is, is the reason that you don't um, get freaky with children as an adult person, they're not developed enough to consent. They're not developed enough to understand um, what they're consenting to. They're not developed enough to fully understand the consequences of their actions. That doesn't make sense as an argumentation because ultimately you were the adult and you had the choice to just simply not message people back on Instagram, you weirdo. Like simple as that. You have the choice 
to not message them back, you shouldn't as a content creator. You're weird for that. And so like it's it's a very weird argumentation route that assumes that that children are as equally as culpable in situations as adults and they are not. Children are children. They have the brains of children. They have the rights of children, right? We don't let children go off and live on their own without parental supervision until they're 18. And sometimes a lot of times they stay a lot longer than 18 because they are not developed enough to make informed, intelligent decisions on things. They are not fully developed. They cannot make those decisions. You're weird as an adult for not understanding and recognizing that. And that's why you're weird with kids. You weirdo. Holy the very sting operations that ruined his career and labeled the people exposing him as fake wannabes. This one chick, she messaged me, right? And she goes, oh my God, are you the real EDP? I respond back with, bitch, how old are you? And who the f sent you, right? Because I know well Skeeter, John, Jideon, and all these fake ass wannabe Chris Hansen impersonating more than likely they sent you. ADP would even go as far as subtly threatening those who exposed him with lethal action. Just because you think a person is guilty or not guilty, right? What the f Under the law, what the f gives you the right to go out and start harassing people? And then when- It's not harassing people, it's- I mean, if you want to use the word harassment, we can use that word. I don't know if it's entirely accurate. They, they, are, they are harassing somebody who continuously makes the decision to get weird with people that they think or know are minors on Instagram DMs. Here's a thought. Maybe if you don't want people catching you and making a video about you like, trying to meet up with somebody under the age of 18 and you don't want to get caught doing that, Here's a thought, just don't do that. That's like the craziest thing about it is you could just not interact with people trying to get with you on Instagram at all, probably, regardless of their age, but especially if they're they're minors, and then you won't get caught doing that. Shit. Trying to trying to get freaky with a with a with a uh, an under 18 individual at your dialysis appointment. Maybe just don't do that. They've decided that they've had enough and they'll pull out that gun and they shoot your ass, right? All of a sudden, it was just a prank. The other recent upload that okay. highlights right. EDP's wow. lack of regret towards his predatory past was their answering tough slash interesting questions video. Around 16 minutes into the video, EDP gave this response to a question regarding his life after the cupcake incident. Number nine, how has life been after what has happened? Life's been great. You know what I mean? To be honest with you, you know, I know a lot of were expecting me to be on some homeless and you know, not have my together and be down at the welfare office begging for food stamps and shit. nah, my nigga, that's not the case, dude. Life has been great, dude. Um, as a matter of fact, as much as it sucked to go through that entire ordeal, it's kind of like it was God's way of saying, you know what? I need to make something dramatic happen in your life because you're hanging around the wrong people. From ADP's perspective, ah. everyone else was at fault for trying to expose his inappropriate activity with minors. Ah, so it was your friends that got you into the DMing of and meeting up with the cupcakes. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. The cupcake enjoy your friends were the problem. What the f are you talking about? And anyone who thought otherwise was a troll harassing him. As delusional as this perspective may seem, there was still a group of small hardcore fans who still supported EDP and wanted to see him continue making content. Looking at his current channel, EDP has over 25,000 subscribers and counting. However, considering his track record- That's kind of crazy that EDP is like so famous and I have more subs than him. Not wild. And I guess that's because it's like his new account or whatever, but still, it's kind of wild. Kind of weird, kind of silly. I had this uh, VTuber that I really liked for a long time. He has one of my favorite designs ever. Um, and I saw him post on Twitter how many subs he had on YouTube. And I was like absolutely gooped and gagged to realize that I had more subs than him because I saw him as kind of like somebody who was around for a lot longer, more experienced, much bigger than me. And I was like, oh, damn, slay. <laughs> it's like, it's so weird.
I, I'm still kind of blown away by how much I've grown this year. Also, if you'd like to subscribe and you're enjoying the content, I'm trying to get to 50k subs before the end of the year. So sub. <laughs> it's unlikely that ADP's new platform will last much longer, especially after the release of this video. ADP 445 is the prime example of the phrase, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. It's still yeah. desperately clinging to a deteriorating. You can rely on an old dog to enjoy cupcakes. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I'm doubling down. You can you can rely on an old dog to enjoy their cupcake. Mm -hmm. And career while trying to make the same content from his 2016 era. Time and time again, the internet has shown EDP that he is no longer welcome and made sure all of his social media accounts were banned. With that in mind, one can only assume that his current channel will receive the same fate. Or maybe the internet has given up wiping off the stain that is EDP 445. For as long as Jack Doherty is so yeah uh edp is back for some reason getting his cupcakes and so on i don't know how to end this uh he's obviously a gross individual it's very easy to not be weird with minors on the internet i just want y'all to know that so easy every day i wake up and it's like not even really a consideration to me that i might do that i i have a lot of fears about mess ups i might have and that is none of them none of them so yeah uh that is the video go ahead again subscribe i'm gonna keep bringing that i'm gonna keep self-promoting on that because i really would like to get 50k by the end of the year i think it'd be really cool subscribe love yourself drink water let me know what you think down in the comment section below come join us on twitch if you ever have time we stream daily around noonish, and uh i'll see y'all next time love you bye